Just for the record, I'm not here to answer your questions. I'm here to talk about what needs to be said. And you are going to listen. Hello. Hello? Oh, this is exciting. I baked some cookies. I hope that's okay. I thought the wives may appreciate it. Good morning. I'm Kay. Thank you for agreeing to take part in our social experiment, My Voice. Shopping vouchers. We hope that you can offer an insight into the family life in the military. Do I smell cookies? Hey, Jules. Jules. Hey, have you have you signed up for this? Everything that you discuss in our sessions will be treated confidentially. Nothing I have to say needs to remain confidential. Ooh, a cookie monster's been in already. Yeah. Well, what? No. It is like I said, if you want a quick mm. turnaround, you need to pay extra. Mm. This girl's under the pump as it is. You need a coffee machine in here or wine. Then the secrets would come out. <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> to begin with, I would like to ask you to tell me a little bit about yourself. That's a bit wonky. Oh, so, oh sorry, sorry. Sorry I'm late. So, sorry I'm late. I'm Beth and I'm married to Corporal Todd Clayton. Uh, we've been married six weeks. Um, Todd's away on training, so I'm home alone. Um, that's it, really. I, I wasn't going to come, but um, Kay Lawson, uh, she thought it would be a good way for me to meet some of the other wives. I'm Alice. My husband's Jake Walker. Sergeant Jake Walker, let me repeat. Sergeant Jake Walker, and he needs help. Mm. For the kiddies, Kay won't mind. I'm Kay Lawson, and I'm married to Major John Lawson. We've been stationed here for six years. I have two sons, Jason and Martin, who are both serving. I volunteer at the thrift shop on a Tuesday and Thursday. I also run the coffee mornings at the Families Club. So, lovely invisible lady, lots has changed since we last spoke. Yeah? No? Right now, I literally just got him out of the car and finally sleeping. Susie Marsh, married twice, both times to soldiers. <clears throat> First husband, a complete wanker. Husband number two, the dream. I teach dance to the kids here on the base. The little darlings. No, no, Dexter, it's, it's fine. That's, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll be there in five. Married to AJ for over 20 years. Four kids, a cat with one eye, uh, two rabbits that keep trying to escape, a very verbally abusive parrot, five goldfish, four, four goldfish. I had to flush one down the toilet this morning and I'm known as the head of happiness because apparently I'm always happy. It's the pills. I'm now married and I've been medically discharged. It all got pretty messy. 
You know what I'm talking about. You were there, sort of. I know I got really lucky. Uh, not everyone, so yeah, anyway. Surely Kay Lawson gave you a glowing insight into the thankless existence of being a military wife? So... They said you were going to ask me what my favourite sandwich is. Do you want to know what it is? I'm nearly done. Yes. 2571. <laughs> it's the same. Well, it's a different colour. Is it? Yeah. Is it the same woman asking stupid questions? Well, she sounds the same. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Remember me? They have cookies. Oh. Mm. Kay Lawson. Oh, the big boss's missus. Uh, the godmother. Oh. That's what they call her. Not as in a fairy one. That's good to know. I, I've got half an hour. Okay. You want to grab some lunch? Even though I'm officially a military wife, I thought I'd leave it up to the pros. I just wanted to come past and say thank you. Visiting this booth really changed my life. It blew you up. Yeah, but I met you. Oh, yeah, this is true. <laughs> when... You all right? Yeah, I'm all good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did she have to break the table saying this? There's no one there, is there? I want... no. I need... I need you to help him, okay? You lot sent him back here in absolute mess. And he won't talk to me. He won't talk to anyone. Our kids are confused. They don't understand what's happened to their dad. He can't sleep, and if he does, he's he's just riddled with nightmares and screams the house down. He's lost weight. Just walks around the house. Hello? Yeah, um, she was okay when I dropped her off. Okay, yep, I'll, I'll come get her. No, no, he, he won't answer. No, no, it's, it's fine. I'm, I'm on my way. I will keep coming back until you help him. Do you understand? I will keep coming back. You call me a saint, but you know I'm a stranger I will and I'm able to do what you want You think I'm a thinker, but I'm just a singer I'm busy and pretty, just making believe oh, I am falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling Down to obscurity, don't let me ever be this alone I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling because of me, I could be making it all up, you know Good morning, if you say so. <laughs> Today I would like you to talk about how you view your role in the military family. Uh, single parent, for the most part. My role, and I think I can speak on behalf of all military wives, is vital. We are the supporting foundations. 
We're very much like soldiers in our own right. Hey, dickhead, if you don't stop calling me or stalking me online, I'm going to go to your boss and the cops. I mean it, Del. We're fucking divorced, for fuck's sake. Get... Just get over it. Ugh. You wanker. I've never really given much thought to my role as a military wife. I'm a mum who happens to be married to someone in the army. It's no biggie. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 so, I'm so sorry for crying. I was um, I was I was just in the shop and some woman um, and some wife who I don't know she she came up to me like just like straight up to me like right into my face and and she said. So you're the one who married Brave to Heart. And she was with a friend and they they were laughing and, and then they just walked away. What did she mean, Brave to Heart? <laughs> I was brought up in a military family. I was already aware of military life and its expectations, and I take it very seriously. Yes, it can be daunting, managing the home and family, often on your own, but it is a role I love. I'm very proud to be a military wife. It's not for everyone. <laughs> I really hate this place. Everyone's so clicky in all their little groups. I see them staring at me. What do they mean, brave Todd? My role? My role right now is picking up the pieces walking on fucking eggshells. Hey, I'm, I, I'm here, I'm, I'm in the booth. Are you, are you on the way? What's happening? When did they start recording? Oh, I don't know. When, uh, when you open the door, I think the, the camera starts, starts, starts there. Why? What, what are you doing? Can you call me on speaker? Why? Speaker? What, what are you talking about? Just text me. Okay. Yeah, go. Ah. Uh. Hi, um, I hope you can hear me. Yes, I can. Of course I can hear you. What are you talking no, about? No, the woman, the woman asking the questions. Can, can she hear me? I, I, I don't know. I, how would I know that? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, Joe? Text, just be quiet for just a minute. Um, uh, hi, my name's Joe, and, and I'm married to Dexter. We we have a six month old together. All right, all right. Uh, Joe, that's uh, enough. Just, just tell me what's Dexter, going on. Just let me speak, please. I wanted to be there in person, but I couldn't bring the baby, so... That's, that's why I'm here, so I can take the baby off your hands. That's no, what I was saying to you earlier. I can't leave Logan with you. What? What's Dexter, that? You need to let me say what I need to say, please. I can't leave Logan with you. What's Ever that? Ever since you got back, you've not been the same you. What's, what's, what's that supposed to mean? Well, sorry, Dex, but please, whoever is listening, you need to help him. Help? Help him? I don't need any help. I'm, I'm, the nightmares, babe. You're obsessing at the gym. The, the, the headaches, you're moody, the insomnia, you're drinking. Dex, I love you, but I want you to ask for help, please. I don't, I don't need help. I'm fine. You're not fine. Your friend died in your arms, babe. Have to talk to someone. Please get fixed. We miss you. I'm gonna go. Okay, but please, whoever.
whoever is with me, just help him, please. You don't need help. Who is listening to all this? Like really listening? Is this just some PR bullshit by the government? Let's pretend we care. Why don't you ask the wives if they understand PTSD? Guarantee you they know more than you do. But you don't wanna know about that, do you? Well, I can tell you right now, it's a fucking mess out there. I've only got 10 minutes. You sure no one can just walk in? No. No one can see us? No, I don't think so. What do you mean? You don't think so. Hello. Fuck. Fucking hell, Holly. Is it supposed to be a timeout session? Why won't the door open? Why won't the door open, Holly? It's my sensor. What are they filming? I just want to go home. <laughs> It seemed fitting. Today, I would like you to talk about your biggest fears. You mean the knock on the door? The next of kin? I don't think any of us fear that. At least not that we share. My fear is wondering if our luck has run out. I mean, how long can you go on in this game until your time's up? So tired. I mean, you have to believe they're going to come home. They're going to come home. It's going to come home. Old ghosts. Hmm. You can't live this life without bumping into your past. Excuse me? No. I don't need to talk to anybody about gambling. <sighs> Spiders and moths. Oh, and mice. 
And I'm not a big fan of thunder and lightning. Oh, and the dark. Oh. Um, and some of the other wives. You get posted somewhere and uh, <laughs> you, you start looking up going, who else is posted here? The ghosts of military past. Did you sleep with my husband? Did you shag my wife? You got my promotion. <sighs> Fuck. Oh. oh, it's funny. Until it's not. I probably give too much thought to what life will be like once John retires. I mean, this has been our way of life for many, many years. I have to admit, it does weigh heavy on me. We'll be starting all over again, away from everyone and everything we know. I wonder how we'll adapt to that. <laughs> so yes, I'm fearful of that next chapter in our lives, which is speedily approaching. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, yes, they said they were only gonna only gonna film during certain hours. Which is? I don't know, but but it's not a night time. How many times have you been in here? Once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> so who's got a light? Mm. Oh. Are you serious? Okay, okay, I'll run home, stay here, don't drink at all. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Hello. Who is that? Today, I would like you to talk about <gasps> your biggest fears. <gasps> wait, 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 wait! We can all have a go. <laughs> well, hurry up then. I'm thinking. Well, think standing up so I can have a turn. No, wait, 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 wait! I've got one. My biggest fear is cotton wool. <laughs> Stop <laughs> laughing! I'm dead serious. <laughs> I have fire. <laughs> Did you know Tanya's biggest fear is cotton wool? It's <laughs> not funny. It really does not freak me out. <laughs> hey, do you know who that woman is? Which woman? Her, behind the screen. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, all right, get out, go. Come on, oh, come on, quickly, go. Oh, oh, you could have go. Mine is height. Mm, well, splitters. Splitters. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Today, I would like you to talk about the importance of friendship. If you don't make friends in this military bubble, then, well, it's like you disappear. You simply don't exist. 
That's really horrible. Hello? Is anyone there? I was diagnosed with breast cancer a few years ago. Of course, Andrew was away on deployment. It was the wives that rallied around. Even the cooking monster. And I suppose we're all a family at the end of the day. I have to go back to work. We're being posted again, so I have to give my notice. You know, that's the worst part about this military life, the constant moving. Settle the kids into a new school, find a new job, make new friends. Yeah, I get it, okay? I knew where the bus was going before I jumped on board. I've heard that a thousand times. But I fell in love with a soldier. So, it is what it is. I can be a bit of a pick and mix. I've lived on bases where I've made friends for life. Other times, a complete bloody nightmare. Shit can blow up in your face. I've seen it time and time again. <laughs> I just wanted to ask, who sees what's filmed in here? Is everything filmed? I, I thought time out was private. Hello? Is it okay if I sneak in? Oops. I couldn't miss the opportunity to come and say hello. Um, I know last we spoke, I talked about leaving my role as a padre. Then we came under attack and I was needed. I had some work to do. Holly, are you in there? Shit. Open these fucking doors, Holly! He won't stop. And now he's, well, now he's saying that he's posted to the same camp where I live with my husband. And I'm, yeah, I'm fearful that it's gonna escalate. <sighs> yeah, the, well, the stalking, uh, one thing, and the threats to our, both our lives, um, I just don't know, somebody's gonna do something now. Better be going. Well, please do listen to what the Band of Wives have to say. What they have to say is incredibly important. Thanks. All yours? Are you sure? Absolutely. He's asleep. It'll be fine. I'm um, be really quick. Take all the time you need. Thank you. Dexter told me that he came to see you last night. Um, just wanted to let you know that he spoke to his boss this morning to ask for help. They're going to look after him. Anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that. Um, hopefully everything's going to be okay. And I'm sorry, oh, it was not once, it was fucking once! Oh, it fucking wasn't! Mark saw me everything! Someone saw you coming in here and scrambling out the yeah, clothes are oh, fucking... I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. fucking sorry! Oh, why are you sorry? It was a mistake. I don't so, fucking care. It's not a mistake, you did it deliberately! How many times? Doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't it shouldn't matter. Have happened. Oh, it shouldn't, it shouldn't happen. I'm so sorry. Yeah, look, you're right. You know, I'm thinking, I like you. I will forgive you. The fucking fucking husband! I don't really have much time to invest in friendships, if I'm honest. I know some of the mums at school, but they come and go. 
No one really stays around for very long. Bugger! No, it wasn't a mistake. It wasn't. Because you did it, and then you did it again, and then you did it again! I didn't mean to hurt you. Oh, you didn't mean to hurt me? Well, what the fuck were you trying to do then? Oh, my fucking, my husband! Yeah, well, I'm really fucking sorry too. I'm so fucking sorry I even met you. You are nothing but a lying, vindictive little fucking slut! I got a job. <laughs> Admittedly, it's um, not what I was hoping for. Cleaning, you know, married quarters and the school on camp, but I met a couple of the other wives and they seem really nice. Maybe things are starting to pick up. <laughs> Alice? Hey. What's happened? I can't stay. I have to leave him, kid. It's too dangerous. It's, it's not fair on the kids. <laughs> He won't admit he's not well. Has he hurt you? No, no. Is this juicy enough for you? Huh? Is this what you wanted? Hey, Alice, come on. We've got to go and get the kids. Okay? You good? We can sort this. Okay? Deep breath. Smile. Brave face. One for the camera. Come on, let's go. Thanks for nothing. Come on. Get out of the way. Please. Fuck off. Friendship is hugely important to the well-being of a military wife. Who else can fully understand what we go through? My son, Jason, he called me last night. It's always nice when one of the boys call home. <laughs> He's being deployed. They're sending him to the... Sorry, I'm not allowed to say. He's excited to go, of course. Obviously, I'm anxious. Who wouldn't be? But we must soldier on. Put on a brave face and smile. You can't allow the darkest fears to creep in. If you do, you will simply suffocate. I keep busy. I bake cookies.